there! Since November is National Reading Month in the Philippines, I'm going to read you a story every single week starting today, then I will be showing you an activity after the read aloud. It could be digital or hands-on, so make sure to watch all the way through. Okay, let's start! The title of our story today is Waiting for Wings by Lois Ellert. Out in the fields, eggs are hidden from view. Clinging to leaves with butterfly glue. Soon, caterpillars hatch, they creep and chew. Each one knows what it must do. Find a place where winds don't blow. Then, make a case in which to grow. Caterpillar changes now begin. Body and wings take shape within. When it's time, each case is torn. Wings unfold, new butterflies are born. They pump their wings, get ready to fly. Then hungry butterflies head for the sky. Looking for flowers with nectar to eat, they catch a whiff of something sweet. They follow that fragrant scent of perfume until they find our garden in bloom. We've been waiting for wings, says the butterfly. We catch them circle, land on their feet, unroll their tongues and begin to eat. They dip and sip then fly away back home to the fields. They have eggs to lay. The end. All right, now I'm going to be showing you our art activity for the day. The materials you will need are board paper, any coloring tool like paint, markers, or crayons, tape or glue, scissors, a popsicle stick, or something to make your puppet stand up, and any other decorative materials you have. Cut a slit on the middle of your paper horizontally. Do not cut along the sides. This is where we will slip in the puppets later on. Then, color or paint the background of your scene. I'll be making a butterfly scene just like in the story. I'll paint the bottom half green to represent the grass, then the top half a light blue color to represent the sky. While the paint dries, I'm going to cut up some flowers to put on the grass, and I'll also cut out clouds to put on the sky. You can cut out any elements for your work too. It could be a rainbow, or tree, or the sun. Now let's make the butterfly. You can print out a printable on Google or draw your own. I'll design my butterfly to look like a monarch butterfly because I like the color and shapes on it. To make it a puppet, you can use popsicle sticks, a pencil, a cutout piece of cardboard, or other materials to make it stand up. Tape or glue your butterfly and make sure it's secure so it doesn't fall off when you are playing with it. When the paint and glue are dry, slip in the puppet inside your paper and move it by sliding your hand from left to right or top to bottom. Thank you for watching. See you again next time. Bye-bye.